think some of you engineering boys are going to laugh at me doing this. It's not too uh, too accurate, but I've got the the new hub mounted to the bottom of the old flywheel. So this is the flywheel off the big end, the, the, the newer engine. But it's not the flywheel that I want to work in the tractor. So I've just got the. Uh, hang on. Yeah, so I've got the PTO hub inside there. I'm just drilling that out first because if I muck that up, it's not that much money to swap. So I'm just getting getting used to um, used to drilling the pattern and the setup. And then when I'm done with that, I'll try and drill the big old flywheel to match. So this is a few days later than the bit you just saw, but I ended up doing that. Lesson learned, um, it was as it was breaking through at the far end, because the steel is kind of like half weld, half not weld, it's inconsistent. And as it's broken through the, the far side, it's like snagged. It snagged and uh, and snapped that bit. I was doing all right. I got through most of them, and like I say, I'm not going all the way through. I've been leaving that that much at the end because of that reason. But that one ended up breaking through and I ended up breaking the bit. So uh, fresh new bit, new day. Let's go a bit more and uh, do a bit more. Bloody wind and rain's horrible in this place. So you can see there that one, where that drill bit broke off. I don't know if it's camera or focus, but. You can still see the bit still stuck in there as it broke through. It's half weld, half not weld, and it's kind of made a, it the bit. It was a bit unpredictable for the bit, and it decided to crap its pants and and uh, break itself off. So uh, I'm just going to knock that through. And then I've got a complete hole, and then perhaps drill through from this side with a smaller bit and just clean that all out, and then go from there. These others are all bored down to. Uh, a thin bit that's left um, it seems to get harder the closer to this this bottom end the bits don't want to get through as well so yeah that's what I'm gonna do now just knock that out there we go it's gone the old bit it's still in there the bits in there a bit there we go it's just dropped out so that's the hole I tried to snag through there we go Broke both ends, isn't it? This is the bugger of the one where it's broke through and all chiseled at the bottom. So I need to be careful with it. Yeah. Come it again. I knew it. I knew it was going to snag. Here we go. This one's cleaning up, but that's now an eight bolt hub. Yeah. It's a like your feet, that's it. I just got back, it doesn't slip, it's greasy on my gloves. Yeah. Again, oh. Where were the devils? Ah, well, can we rotate it off turn? Nearly nutted the thing there. <laughs> Nearly went teeth, teeth to teeth with the flywheel. So, just done the old flywheel next. Uh, this is the new old, this is the old new flywheel. It's got the eight bolts in. This is the new old flywheel. It's got six bolts in, but been welded up. So we now use that as a pattern. I bolted them together there, lined it up as best I can. And uh, yeah, see how many holes we can get stuck through in this. Mm, scratching there. Right, so I've got them countersunk now. The old new flywheel is off, done, out of the way. They're countersunk ready to be drilled with a smaller pilot hole.
okay, we're on a different day now because that was Sunday, ended up busting my finger open and I run out of time on the Sunday because we had a meal booked and all I had was this last one to do. So, just finishing this little bit off now. Shouldn't take me 10 minutes. And then this is straight done. Go and try it on the, uh, well, clean up the faces a bit and go and try it on the, uh, try it on the engine. Four drill bits later. Okay, don't laugh at how rough I'm being, but now I've got it in the daylight. Okay, that's cleaner. Uh, now I've got it in the daylight, it's better, it's easier to see what problems I'm dealing with here. Uh, now two of these holes actually haven't drilled quite as nicely as I'd hoped because the weld being harder on one side than the cast on the other is kind of like push the drill bit ever so slightly around. So two of these holes are actually not quite in line so uh, I think everything else is fine it's just those buggers so I'm over drilling them if I over drill them then I can at least get the proper bolts back in you know what I mean you know what I mean I love this when you switch the magnet on on this uh, this mag drill watch the watch the iron filings Boom, off, on, off, on, off. It's like some Terminator stuff going on there, that is. Uh, just got it back into the other workshop where the engine is, but I've actually run out of time tonight. Um, if you do want to carry on following this build, then please hit that subscribe button or at least just give us a thumbs up if, if you like this video. Um, yeah, yeah, sorry it wasn't much going on. Sorry it was just a bit of, you know, just drilling and drilling and cutting and drilling, but um, it's all part of the process. And yeah, so please give us a thumbs up on this video and I'll see you in the next one.